On a tour of Mali's state broadcaster ORTM, the Malian Prime Minister witnessed firsthand the aftermath of the country's deadliest protests in years. In a bid to appease demonstrators, President Keita announced that he would be dissolving the constitutional courts. The court was at the heart of the controversy over the outcome of parliamentary polls held earlier this year. After it overturned the polls' provisional results, this went on to ignite mass protests in several cities. J'ai donc décidé d'abroger les décrets de nomination des membres restants de la Cour constitutionnelle et d'aller vers la mise en œuvre des recommandations issues de la mission de la CEDAO. The ECOWAS's recommendations include reviewing the results from the parliamentary polls and holding new partial elections. But these recommendations, in addition to promises to dissolve the court, has done little to appease the so-called 5th of June movement. They are the main critics of Cato's presidency and they say they won't stop until he steps down. We remain mobilized because the repression reinforces our determination and we will continue with our mode of order until the end of the regime, IBK, which is a cancer today for all Mali. Mali saw its worst civil unrest in recent history Friday, with demonstrators ransacking the country's national broadcaster, ORTM, and vandalizing the National Assembly. Among the protesters' grievances, the level of corruption in government, the jihadist conflict, and the country's economic woes.